This is a short video for children, young people and families to help you identify, prevent and check for lipohypertrophy or as they are more commonly referred to as lipos. So what is a lipo? A lipo is a lumpy area where you inject your insulin. You may notice subtle rises and dips on the skin, injection points, perhaps shiny areas or signs of bruising. Lipos can be mistaken for muscle development in the arms and legs or perhaps weight gain around the tummy and so detection may be difficult and even delayed. Lipos can be prevented by correct rotation of injection sites, using a new needle every time, checking sites before injecting. It's good to get into the routine of doing a self-check each month too. Children and young people attend clinic every three months and this is an opportunity for sites to be checked with your healthcare professional. And this can all help to protect sites for the long term too. So how can you check for lipos whilst at home? Good lighting and a mirror can help you to have a close look. Look for changes on your skin where you inject, perhaps during or after a bath or shower. Look for subtle bumps or dimples at the site. Use your fingertips to feel the area that you suspect may be lumpy. Moisturisers can help too. They can help fingers move smoothly across the skin. Massage in circles or with two to three fingers in a forward movement across the whole site. A change from a smooth glide across the skin to more resistant rubbery or less soft texture is often noticed or felt. If you find a lipo, try to find the edge of it so you can avoid the area when injecting. Do talk to your healthcare professional as they may note the size and the position in your medical notes. This can then be monitored, the area avoided and an alternative site used. It's important to know that if you have been injecting into a lumpy area and then switch to healthy tissue, insulin doses may need to be adjusted so always discuss this with your healthcare professional. When children and young people are fearful of needles, this can lead to repeated use of the same injection site and in turn increase the risk of lipos. So skills to help with this are really important. Fear increases pain. So it's important to be honest with your child and tell them if something will hurt. Explain why they need the injection and that it is to help and not to punish. Show the child how and where injections can be given on a soft toy. Opportunities to practice the skill with a soft toy can also help to involve them and enhance coping. Diversion techniques can also help Perhaps try blowing bubbles, using stories like Where's Wally, using technology to play music, watch sensory apps, or even gaming. There's some evidence to suggest children cope best when they're actively involved. Here are a few suggestions. Talk about previous experiences and how they felt. What made things better? What didn't help? What needs to be different this time? What needs to be the same? What do they want other people to do to help them? Who do they think needs to be there or not there? What explanations, if any, do they want beforehand? Do they want to look? Do they want to look away? Where do they want the injection to happen? Do talk to your healthcare professional too, as they can offer further support and more ideas. All the information in this video is available in the Best Practice Toolkit. Ask your team for a copy. We hope this video has been helpful and thank you for listening.